All right, we're back with another episode of Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and it feels like my allergies are acting up. Anyway, uh, 14 today, and then we're off to the weekend. So if you're coming to town, uh, you have the option of coming to see us and say hello and talk about your plans. Uh, we do a tour of homes. We can get you set up on some daily email updates. Uh, if you're selling your home, we've got some great guides. We can do a pinpoint price analysis. We can do something called a room by room review, which is where we come over and point out the best return on investment uh, of either your time or your money, the things to do in the house. And it doesn't matter how good the market is, uh, the closer you are to move in ready and you eliminate those objections from buyers, it multiplies your investment. The one we just sold on Earl, my best estimate, and I've seen this quite a few times this year, the magic formula seems to be spend about ten or fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Sometimes that's light, sometimes it's paint, uh, countertops, whatever it is, and get fifty. That's kind of what's going on now. So fifteen to fifty is my new winning formula. Let's talk about today's list. Now six forty Sauve. I don't think it looks like this. I don't know if that's the artist's rendition, but it will one day. It's just kind of a bit of a construction zone right now. I think they probably just registered the building. Origin Condos is the name. There's four of them that are gonna be built. My cons I have a little bit of a concern that there's just so many rentals in these buildings. However, they do have a very nice visual appearance. So the hallways, I think, are some of the best in town. Inside the units, you've got the nine foot ceiling. So you have, you know, that thing that Costigan has, that Green Life has, but you're not seeing it the, you know, some of the other Natalin or Bristol on Main. So they actually feel really open. The, the quality of the materials was, you know, decent, you know, probably on par with something like Bristol or uh, Maple on Main. Uh, there you go. So this one is one washroom and two bedrooms. And what does it face? Some of them, this one faces the parking lot. Some of them have a nice uh, ravine view behind facing fourth line. So 359, two bedroom, one washroom for this size is a good price. And they're not holding back on offers, surprisingly, even after that big sale at Bristol on Main, well into the 400s for a similar sized unit. So see so what happens if you get it for this i mean this is less than what the builder was selling them for when they were releasing their last few in the building that's being built so it's a good deal hamilton crescent 499 end unit croft side there's a bit of maintenance on the uh, the wood that you need to do here whenever you have wood on the outside of your home you're probably painting it every three or four years uh there's a little bit of siding there too so this model, we've seen a lot of smaller sales. We've seen with one less bathroom upstairs, we've seen uh, 100 square feet smaller go for uh, 600, 610, 620. This one could go, I, I, I'm not kidding when I say this one could go for 650. It's not in the best shape, for, at least from pictures, but this size of home is now, you know, it's, it's within that range. There was an inside unit townhouse that sold over on Agnew for 680 recently. So get ready on this one. It's gonna be, it'll be a feeding frenzy for 499 on this, big time action. Same with this one on McCandless. Uh, our client, Brandon, how you doing, Brandon? I don't know if he still watches the episodes because he already bought a house, but we uh, we love Brandon. He uh, he picked up a good deal on one of these for just over six hundred. Um, anyway, the uh, this one's at five fifty. The one after the one he bought was six seventeen. So this one's going up into the six somethings too. So I mean, asking price is just a guideline at this point. It really means almost nothing. And it's sad because there's some buyers that look at this list and say, yeah, I could buy that. I, my budget, I'm maxing out at 550. You're not gonna have a chance on it, sorry. Okay, 753 Azelton listed for $700,000. This is our listing. We're taking offers on uh, next week, next Wednesday, we're taking offers on this one. 2,400 square feet of total living space, but we've also specified there's about 500 in the basement. Still with 500 square feet of space, you have lots of storage space plus a cold room. 
you come in you've got one big room on the main floor it's a great place for a uh, you know family gatherings lots of lots of space there it's actually set up in the builders plans like a living dining but they decided to just have it as living because in the kitchen you've got your eat-in area there you could fit a table for eight or ten people in there and you can extend it out if you need for special occasions you've got these nice ivory white cabinets uh, nice light fixtures you've got uh, iron pickets and hardwood stairs nice tasteful color of hardwood here it's not going to go out of style sometimes if it's too dark or too light it's trendy but this kind of floor going to look good for years and years and years uh and then you've got your three bedrooms plus a loft upstairs lots of space in the basement there's your bathroom in the basement and there's actually a straight shot from the garage right down the stairs to the basement so if you want to close that off and make it a separate living area you could 100 foot deep lot and the other thing is if you look at the separation here there's a lot of space between this home and the other one more than we see in a lot of new subdivisions so that uh that pond right there it's just nice not to face like to feel like everything is just homes 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 the pond definitely breaks up the look and they get a lot of people walking by friendly neighborhood it's actually turned out really well and the builder north star uh, I've had a few clients that have bought North Star Homes, and they've actually done a, a very good job. So, offers on Wednesday. So here's how messed up asking prices are, and how, you know, I, I understand to, it's hard to gauge, especially when you're not seeing what places are selling for. This one on Switzer is uh, an Albion Bay. It's about 2,200 square feet, plus a basement, plus a finished basement, pie-shaped lot at $799. There's a real chance this one will go for more. But then you look at this one on Donnelly. Now we're 2,300 square feet with a finished basement, 859. This one's probably going for more too. And then you have Donovan Heights, which is at 895 with a finished basement. And they're holding back on offers too. But this one is smaller than any of them, but it's listed the highest. So this is like a 2,000 square foot. This is a Windsong model. Um, it's a little less than 2,000 square feet, actually. So it's, uh, I mean, how do you make sense of that stuff? There's only 100,000 difference, and the smallest one is the one that's asking the most money. They may not sell for 120% of, uh, of asking price, but there's, uh, there's definitely something to be said for, you know, like, what do you do? Like, it's c completely confusing for a buyer right now, and I understand. Uh, and how much do you offer? Not even, it's not even good enough right now to offer as much as the last one because almost every sale is breaking records uh, and there's really very little negotiating. It's more about how palatable or basically how painful do you want your offer to be? Uh, you know, are you willing to just kind of really drop a hammer or if you're not, the problem is the guy who does drop the hammer, you're now gonna go next time and probably have to pay more. So it's uh, it's a tough market. You really need good advice right now. And you also need to be patient. And, uh, and you need to understand that even though you put a good offer out, uh, it doesn't mean you're always gonna get the home. Now once in a while, it's like in football, you kind of see the lane and you just go. You see the two linemen and you just hit that hole and you find a good deal. And we've seen it before uh, in this market. It is still possible to get a very good deal. Uh, not every time, but it happens. So this one on Trafalgar, remember what I said with, uh, with sort of total finish space? Uh, 6350 square feet of living on three levels, but... I don't really see how that makes a lot of sense. So let's just say it's 3,500 square feet on main and second, which is usually what square footage is based on. I don't understand how you could do that much, but then the basement's 3,000 because you know you'd have each floor might be you know 18, 1,900 square feet. That would mean the basement's 18. I don't know. I don't know what it means or if they just put the wrong uh, marker for square footage. If we go by the fact that it's 6350 square feet, that means we're just over 2,000 per level. 
uh, unless the garage sort of tucks in. But 4,000 square feet, you're building it probably on a home like this with this uh, quality, at least 300 a square foot. And then you're looking at the value of the land. What's two, basically two acres on Trafalgar worth? Uh, Trafalgar is going to be an interesting street because you're going to see the GO station come up just south of the 401. Uh, as Milton and Oakville start kind of drifting closer together in the official plan, you're going to start to see transit routes and uh, you've got the outlet mall already. So there's a lot of things happening on Trafalgar. Uh, it'll be a real busy street. So the traffic's going to go up. But if you think about those homes down on here, Ontario, down by Port Credit, stuff like that, that's what this one's really going to be. It's going to be a two acre piece of land on a street that gets a ton of traffic so uh which is not a bad thing necessarily especially if you're set back far enough but uh 2.8 actually doesn't seem too bad because this home in oakville in southeast oakville is probably you know you're probably looking at pretty close to four million right now Okay, so that's the list. If you have any questions, give us a call. And uh, if you're coming to town this weekend, or if you just need some good information, reach out to us by email or request you know, one of the guides we've got on the, uh, the website. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here on Monday.